death of al-Aki marks another significant milestone in the broader effort to defeat al-Qaeda and its affiliates. Furthermore, this success is a tribute to our intelligence community and to the efforts of Yemen and its security forces who have worked closely with the United States over the course of several years. So, Alaki no Mori, another big terror guy goes down, and Ron Paul says praising it goes too far. The Republican presidential candidate, Congressman Ron Paul, on the phone with me right now. Um, Congressman, why, what, what's your view of, uh, on this? I mean, terror bad guy taken out. What do you think of that? Well, it's probably a net positive. Uh, nobody likes these kind of people, but I also like the rule of law, and I like our Constitution. I like the Fifth Amendment that you don't uh, just uh, target people and assassinating them, somebody who has not been charged and you have no proof of anything. So if we want to protect American citizens from that type of justice, we have to be more cautious. This has never been done before. Uh, this announced policy was uh, uh, about a year and a half ago by our administration that said that American citizens can now be targeted for assassination. This is very, very dangerous. You know, uh, who knows what the future will bring? Maybe just dissenters would be uh, a potential terrorist already. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot to be a potential terrorist. Somebody who tried to institute sound money was charged with uh, being a terrorist. That was one of the charges made. So I would say that we should be more cautious. So this doesn't mean that we shouldn't deal with this problem and go after these people and, and deal with it, but uh, just to do this casually or celebrate it. I consider that very dangerous. Did you feel the same about taking out Osama bin Laden? Yes, essentially that. Uh, you know, but but it, I think it was somewhat different because I voted for that authority. Uh, bin Laden, you know, had bragged about, uh, you know, how he participated in it, and I voted for the authority to go after him. The disgusting part about well, bin well, Laden. Well, so had Al Waqid. I mean, right? So I mean, it wasn't as if they, the two were totally disconnected. Sure. I mean, uh, what the the authority was given to go after the people who uh, participated in the planning and the carrying out of 9-11. And that's not what Alaki's uh, charges are. Uh, as a matter of fact, he wasn't involved at all. So uh, well, We do know that he was instrumental behind the Fort Hood attacks. We do know uh -huh. many others. Now, well, well, don't I, you? Don't all right, you. Well, well, well let, let's, let's just focus on that for a second. Would, would a, a President Ron Paul then just disband this policy? Because the fear would be that a President Ron Paul would sort of let terrorists do their thing? No, I would take seriously the oath of office to the Constitution and, uh, and say that we should follow the law. Yeah, but and these I would guys not, don't care about the oath of office. I would not. In, I, I strongly object to the president institutionalizing a policy that explicitly says that he has the authority to target American citizens because he believes they're bad people. You don't protect bad people because they deserve it, you protect bad people and go through the process because you think a lot about innocent American people never being treated in this manner. This is something that is, it, this is major in many ways about following the rule of law. So I, I think... You might be right on the rule of law then. All right, let's leave it aside for a second that people who make a mockery of our rules of law and then they would see under a president, Ron Paul, that, wait a minute, he's so strictly following the rule of law that we can walk all over this guy, kill his people. He'll be waiting no, to on, go through on, the Neil, process. Neil, no, no, I, I just, I just want getting, to hear you're, that out. That do you're, you you're, fear... You're, getting, you're getting carried away. No, no, no I'm asking, do, do you see where this could potentially go, that you're trying to do the right thing out of the Constitution? Well, these guys are literally blowing it up. Well, maybe we wouldn't be involved in this kind of stuff. Maybe we would not precipitate... Uh, the uh, efforts to commit suicide terrorism against us. That's the main, the number one problem that we're facing. How many innocent people do you think we've killed in the meantime of trying to uh, assassinate this American citizen? Let's say, for instance, we've killed 100 innocent people trying to hit them with all our, uh, all our drones. How many, how many new, uh, dedicated uh, Al Qaeda are now out there. This is a you know a great recruitment way right. to kill innocent people. And I understand. What you're I do want to ask real quick, if I could, don't mind reverting back to politics for a second. Uh, we've seen a Democrat leading polling group finding you within a percentage point of President Obama among Florida voters. Right? Is Florida a state even within the Republican Party that you've got to win or that you think you can win? You know, I don't, I don't deal 
in those details. Probably some of my staff do. All I do is present the case for liberty, present the case for the Constitution, sound economic policy, sound monetary policy, and a foreign policy that's different. And uh, I want to maximize my vote and maximize my effort, and we're doing quite well. But I don't say Florida, I, Florida is do or die. I don't think in those terms. I do my very best to get the votes, and so far the strategy has been working. All right. Congressman, good having you on. Thank you very much. Okay. Ron Paul. Meanwhile, stay